My guest today has been a warrior for good and fairness ever since he was radioactively mutated into a human-sized turtle. He and his brothers at arms have been living underground, training at the feet of a master sensei and struggling for right, all between healthy doses of pizza. How pleased I am to be joined by one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael. Thanks for having me. Pardon me for getting a little TMZ right off the bat, but are, are you seeing anyone? No. It just seems to me with your fame and stature and your athleticism and knowledge, you'd be a real catch. So how is it that you're still single? Well, first of all, thanks for bringing up a really sore subject. I'd say there's a, a few reasons for that. Uh, number one is that I live with three other dudes and a rat in a sewer. So that's not a great place to bring ladies home to. Well, my producer tells me that our phones are lighting up with women who are ready to change your mind. Number two is that there are only four of my species and they are all dudes. Who do you think I have sex with? Other turtles? Do you know what my human-sized mutant penis would do to a box turtle? Hurt? My doctor says it would mean instant death to the turtle. And on the rare occasions when I am able to bring a woman back, she just wants to have sex with me because I'm famous, I think, or that uh, I'm a ninja, or a mutant, or a, um, a turtle, or a teenager. I'm like the center square in a pervert's fuck bingo. So no, there's not a lot of women looking for commitment. Well, that means you're getting laid sometimes, right? So that's pretty good. Even the ones that went through with it were all hopped up on ooze. When they ended up seeing me naked, they shrieked in terror. It's funny, do you know what the difference is between a human penis and a turtle penis? I do not. The head. I've seen a lot of porn, and I've never seen a human who doesn't have a head at the top of the penis. Mine is just a you know, straight shot from the flump sack all the way to the tip. And it's sticky and slimy. It's like one of those you know, toys that you throw at the wall, and it reeks of the sea. Uh, I once showed it to April, and it did, it did not go well. Uh, I'm sorry to say our producer tells me that our phones aren't exactly lighting up anymore, but it has been a real pleasure having you here. Uh, thanks, Raphael. Oh, you, all right. Yeah, do you, want, do you want me to do one of my ninjutsu moves? <laughs> We're out of time. <coughs> Listen, a little piece of advice. No, I, uh, maybe next time you're on an international interview show, don't spend 90% of the time talking about how disgusting you think your penis is. <laughs>